EA Sports, we need to talk. For years on years, pros have had restrictions when building teams. This came into effect in FIFA 19, where EA said, you are now restricted, you have to use certain players to stop pay to win. And this has been going on for five years, so you'd say it's been fairly successful. There's no reason to change it. Until now, the December Cash Cup is here and EA have said, no team restrictions. You can use any card you want, no matter the value, no matter the rating. Pay to win is officially back. And if you're not familiar with these cash cups, these are tournaments for anyone that didn't make the Pro Open. The Pro Open is where all them cards are in the game, the purple cards, but only 20 people are playing in that worldwide. So you can imagine there's hundreds of pros that are playing in this cash cup. And to the surprise of absolutely everyone in the pro scene, they've decided that we play no restrictions. So my job today is to build a team with no restrictions. Normally at this stage, I give you a great long list of all the restrictions and all the different cards that we use. There's one thing for this list, loan cards are allowed. So if you see loan cards in this team, don't blame me. I'm just playing the game. And with that, in goal, we have Peter Schmeichel. He's my first loan card, Icon, 89 rated. Now, I'm not sure if him or Allison is the better player. I've used Schmeichel, he's on trial. There is a world where I might swap to Allison out of pure rage in game one. I'm not his biggest fan right now. At left back, we have the Thunderstruck Alfonso Davis. I do believe he's the best left back. All the icons are too small. I don't like Roberto Carlos because of his height. I was going to get the Mendy card, the new Dynasty's Mendy, but I've gone against it because Davis looks unbelievable with a 97 pace. He's got good agility and balance. We are going to boost his defending and physical because they're the two things that are lacking. But Davis is very, very good. He's expensive. He did cost me 800k. But Dynasty's Mendy is a ridiculous price. And until he comes down, I'm not paying it. So Alfonso Davis in at left back. Next to him, I can outright say I've got the best two centre-backs on the game. Paolo Maldini is first. I have his loan card from this daily objective. We all got him on loan to try and do the dynasty thing. I get him on loan and I get to use him in a pro tournament. I'm not complaining because his Maldini card is definitely the best in the game, man. His stats are unbelievable. I mean, a centre-back with 96 defending. It's crazy. He's also got the intercept plus as well, as long as a slide tackle. I mean, I was hoping for a few more play styles from Maldini, but... You know, we'll take the intercept plus. Next to him, I have my untradeable Van Dyke. I have recently packed Van Dyke untradeable. Very, very good pull. No matter what cards they bring out every single week, Gold Van Dyke is still the man. He still does the business. And especially with his aerial plus, he's a threat from corners. He's got four of the six defending play styles. Absolutely mental. At right back. And it is crazy that I'm saying this is a potential weak link in my team. Marcus Lorente Evoed. I've Evoed him to 87. I am an absolute rat. I need to get hold of myself, but he is worthy, man. He's such a good right back with his 92 pace, 81 defending, 84 physical. He's also got good dribbling stats as well. So when I want to go to the pitch with him, he's very, very good. A load of half decent play styles. I mean, he doesn't have any play style plus, which is frustrating, but the play styles are good enough. We can take that. And I can actually say Lorente is the worst player in my team. So you can see these no restrictions have really, really changed things. I think there's no better way of starting this by showing you my front six. And my midfield's had a bit of an upgrade. If you remember, I've been using Jude Bellingham, Puteas, them kind of players who are very, very good. But now we're shopping at Harrods. We've taken it up a level. And that means, unfortunately, I'm going to have to bring in an Arsenal ex-player here. He's an ex-player, though. It is Patrick Vieira in centre midfield. Now, I've brought Vieira. He cost me quite a few coins. The reason being, he's such a good DM and his height and presence is so key. I've noticed in practice games, having that six foot four presence in midfield with all them defensive play styles. I mean, we thought Maldini was good and we thought Van Dijk was good because he had four play styles. Vieira has four of the defensive play styles and one of them is block plus as well so he's one of the best dms in the game i need someone that can sit in front of the back two and just intercept hoover up as much as possible and that is Vieira's job next to him we've had another upgrade puteas is no longer part of the team which is mental because she served me so well but we're replaced by one of the goats of the game we've got zz Zidane, Zidane, Zizou, whatever you want to call him, he's in my team. I really, really like Zidane, man. He's five-star, five-star. He's got 90 shooting. He's got 94 dribbling, 84 physical. The only thing he's lacking a little bit is agility and balance. I do want to try and improve that because he is my more attacking midfielder out of the two. So I want to make him as agile as possible, but he's good. On the left, we have brought in another loan card, Ronaldinho. 
We got him at the start of the game for some reason. I don't know why we all got Ronaldinho, but we did. All I've got to make sure is he's not rizzing up women when he's playing, because I did see that tweet the other day of him being a bit funny and chatting up some woman in a club. I don't need him doing that. I need him doing skill moves, running down the wing and scoring goals for me. Next to him, the last of the loan cards. We've seen the back end of them for the starting 11. Johan Cruyff. Five star, five star, 90 pace, 91 shooting. The only thing, again, is he doesn't have his 94. The reason I want his 94 is because it has the power shot plus, and I love that as a play style, man. I mentioned that in my pro tips video. If you haven't seen that, make sure you're watching. So unfortunately, he doesn't have the power shot plus, but he does have a load of decent play styles still, and he is good enough. It's Johan Cruyff. Like, we're talking about one of the greatest to ever kick a football. Next to him, my player of the month, Mbappe, is not going anywhere. He is the man. I was going to Evo this card, but I'm undecided. I think what I'm waiting on is to see if he gets his 93, because we're very, very expectant of a new player of the month that's just come out. So if there's a new one, then obviously I'm not going to Evo this one. So for now, he stays player of the month. Kylian Mbappe doesn't need any introduction. It's Kylian Mbappe for the last one, two, three, four, five years now since FIFA 19. He's been in my team every single year, and he doesn't go anywhere. We're going to finish the starting 11 with someone that doesn't go anywhere in this year's team. My R9 replacement. I don't even use R9 now because I use Mia Ham. Wow, Mia Ham. What a cracking player. What a cracking player. I have no words for how good she is. If you saw it in the November Cash Cut, which is on the Hashtag House channel, you see how I got on there. You'll see that Mia Ham did a very good job for us. Power Shot Plus is so good. Five star, five star. She's small. She's agile. She's perfect. She's a cracking, cracking player. And that completes the starting team. For my tactics, I already have my tactics. I'm still using the ones I put on YouTube. But I am either using 4-2-3-1, 4-3-2-1, or 4-4-2. It depends on what mood I'm in and what player I'm playing and how I'm playing. Now, to the bench. We have Puteas has been dropped to the bench. I feel sorry for her because she has put in such a shift at this football club. I'd, some would say that's harsh. Zico is next to her. Now, Zico, I've got in an icon roulette. That is my new favorite thing to do. Icon roulettes, I've only just started doing them myself, and they are unbelievably good. Next to Zico, we've got Basha. Basha, SBC. We're waiting on that upgrade to go to 90 plus. Yes, please. Wouldn't mind it. De Jong, 89. Good player. If Vieira ever feels too stiff, De Jong will be coming on. My other icon roulette was Frank Ribery. Two icon roulettes, two five-star, five-star icons, Ribery and Zico. And the best sub of them all, Adama Traore is back. We have his moments card. Wow. Wow. If you've been a long-time viewer, you'll know how much I love Adama Traore. We go a long way back, me and him, all the way since FIFA 20. Basically, whenever I'm winning, I bring him on and I just say, run. Run, shield it, do not lose me the ball. Next to him, Theo Hernandez. I'm going to ask you every time I do this every single squad builder. If you have any sub suggestions, get them in the comments. Wish me luck in the comments. The Cash Cup, Saturday and Sunday this weekend. Hopefully, I can go even better than the last one. And if you want to watch the last one, make sure you click here.